What's up guys? Welcome to the Lord's D YouTube channel. Today I'm going to have a deck profile for you on a budget Super Shenron deck. Uh, this deck I did go 3-0 tonight at my locals with, with a first round buy. This deck's going to run you roughly in the $50 to $60 range depending on what you decide to put in it, if you decide to build foils, etc. So let's go ahead and get right into the profile. So for starters, obviously we're gonna run the Super Dragon Ball Leader that flips into the Wish Super Shenron with what I can call the ultimate ability that lets you take your extra turn. Uh, so for starters, obviously we're gonna run the seven Dragon Balls that we need. Uh, I, in this build, I run two Dragon Radars. I only run two because I wanna see it, but I don't want my hand flooded with it either. Um, obviously we run four Child's Wish. And then because I'm playing yellow, I do run four of the personal ambition. Great for filling your hand and filling your drop as well to get to that 20 cards. Uh, next, I run the adoptive father, son Gohan. I run four. So I run these as the budget option in place of the bar dogs. And it usually doesn't affect me too much because I play a little bit more aggroy, so I take more damage. Um, and I, whenever I play them, I always just swap into the Two drop Goku, which is the dependable dynasty Goku. So he's one of your beaters, so to say. Next, I run three of the Dangerous Journey Bulmas. So I run these in case you kind of get into a game where you have to hold out a little bit longer. You can add some of your combo pieces, some stuff back to fluff your deck back up so you don't deck out because I have seen this deck get dangerously close to decking itself out to get to that 20. Next up, for a little bit of early game pressure, I do play four of the Fearless Assault Krillin, just to get you that early game aggro against your opponent. After that, we play three of the Fledgling Talent Pan, just like the Personal Ambition, perfect for filling up your drop to get to that 20. I do run one of the Master Roshi Forged at Will, just to have some kind of counter in this deck in case I need it. It does a lot of times turn into energy or a combo piece, but I have used it and it has saved me games before. Next up, we got four of the Temporal Rescue Trunks, the super combo for the deck. And the Shining Star of the deck, we do have four of the Explorer Bulmas in here. And as kind of one of my bigger aggro cards, I do run three of the Power Charge Bardock. Uh, I like him in here because he can either refill my hand with his draw ability or he can get double strike so he can hit for that heavier damage if I'm trying to go for game. Next, I do run one of the Bardock Fully Unleashed. Uh, mainly just run one because if my opponent does have a good amount of bigger cards in play, I can clear him out with him or he's a zero cost combo piece. And then finally, my main hitter is going to be the Scientist Foo. Um, so he's the one where once I take into that second turn, I'm going to fill up my drop with at least seven again, overwhelm for one, draw that two. And he's one of my main game enders because he's the 25k double strike. He's pretty much what's meant to finish off the opponent. Uh, thanks for watching the deck profile, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you guys hit that bell to get the notifications for all of our new content. We got more deck profiles coming, gameplay videos with interesting decks, decks you haven't seen a hundred times. So remember to check those out, and we'll see you guys soon.